Hi there. Welcome to the Small Business Coffee Break, the series where we take a few minutes to work on your business, not just in it. Today we're asking, can a salary employee work overtime for free? With Zachariah Evangelista, partner at Surin Associates PLLC. Zach has over 10 years of experience helping small businesses build better foundations and protections to help them grow. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. You bring up another really interesting um, uh, you know, issue that comes up every day, which is you know, misclassifying employees, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, you know, from my understanding, and, and please tell me where I'm wrong, is you have uh, employees that you pay hourly and employees that you pay a salary to. Uh, generally, the common belief is that employees that you pay a salary to, they, they're stuck, right? They got to take that salary, and if they work 100 hours a week, they... they they're that classification, so they're they're classified that way. Employees that are you know uh, you know hourly, then you know a different set of rules apply, like overtime. Mm -hmm. Is it true that I can make my my salaried manager work a hundred hours a week? Yes, and no. Just because you pay them a salary doesn't mean they're exempt from overtime. But to be exempt from overtime, they have to be paid a salary because. It's right. one of the factors. Okay. So that just paying a salary by itself does not mean that person's exempt from overtime. There are other factors that, that come into play. And in, in the law, it's, they're called exempt employees. Okay. And there's, a, there's about a uh, little less than half a dozen exemptions, uh, managerial, sales, um, professionals. But it's not just, well, this person's a manager because I call them a manager. They're a manager because they qualify under what the language of the statute says. They can hire people, they can fire people, they set schedules, they make determinations on, on staff. Like, they have managerial duties as described under the law. Okay. Not because you- Because I call, because I, I, I just stopped that name under the, you know, so-and-so, well, we're, in, we're, we're both in the business world, right? Vi everybody's a vice president, <laughs> right? So, yeah. you know, just because you put vice president yeah. under there doesn't really, really mean yeah. that they have executive powers at that particular organization. Yeah. Let's keep the conversation going. If you have any questions for Zach, ask him in the comments or his contact information is in the description. If you have any questions you'd like me to ask Zach or any other professional in their field, my contact information is also in the description and I'm always available via direct message. See you next week for another cup of coffee and more questions answered.